Sometimes some persons have misinterpreted this to mean that Jesus did not have regard for his mother or that Mary was of little importance to Jesus. That is not correct. That's not correct at all. If for anything about importance, it goes to show how important Mary really is in the life of Jesus, her son. You need to understand the scenario that we have here. We are told that at that time that Jesus was with the crowd. And usually when he was teaching, he had a lot of people around him. And he was making his points and teaching, teaching them. When Mary came in and tried to see him, but got the crowd, she couldn't see him. You see how humble Mary was? She decided to stay outside. The mother of the teacher is out to see the teacher, and she cannot see the teacher. Yet the teacher continues to teach. So he was deeply engrossed in the work that he was doing. He was deeply engrossed in his teaching. And then people were there, huge crowd, massive, that they couldn't cross over to see him. But there was someone there who probably knew Mary and knew about the fact that Mary and Jesus' ladies were present. And so they had to tell Jesus. Now, I keep saying to understand this text, you need to go back to the text, previous text to know what Jesus was doing. The text we just read is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 8, verses 19 to 21. If you want to understand this text, go a little bit beyond the verses. If you go to verse 16, for instance, you understand what Jesus was doing. He was teaching. If as from verse 16, he was telling them, No one lighting a candle covers it with a container or set it under a bed. Instead, he placed on the lampstand so I give those in the house where they may see light. For there is nothing that is secret that will not be made clear. Nothing hidden that will not be made known or brought to play. Therefore, take care how you listen. For whoever has, will be, more will be given him. Whoever does not have, what he thinks he has will be taken away. Then his mother and brother came in, but they were not able to see him because of the crowd. And it was reported to him, your mother and brothers are there. He was teaching. Look at the lesson he was teaching them on how to do the will of God. He says, no one lights a candle by the bed, but we talk about lamps that I give light to his heart. Therefore, your life should shine out before men. So I see your words. Do the will of God. He was teaching. Somebody interrupted him and said, Your mother is here. He said, My mother and my brother are those who do the will of God. Do you understand? Do you understand the test now? So he was teaching about doing the will of God, telling them to obey God. That God is going to expose every secret. So it's better for you to follow the will of God. You don't hide uh, your ways under the bed. If you are like Shana Policy, he was teaching that, and someone just interrupted him, intruded, and said, your mother and your brother are here, and your brethren are here. He said, yes, thank you. Do the will of God for my mother and my brethren. You understand the test? The situation. And that's how he responded. Not, it wasn't some disregard for me. Rather, it was an opportunity for him to teach. And when I was looking at the test morning, I saw the very first line I first read from the book of Proverbs. I said, the king's heart is a stream of water in the land in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he will. Jesus teaches however he wants. So he taught them as his spirit led him. We need to understand the situation in the context. So you don't just take something in isolation. We need to talk about in isolation. That is different between us in the Catholic Church who want to explain the scriptural text, look at the entire situation the context in which the test was made. So but some person just pick one line and begin to just talk about that line. That line has uh, something before and something after. Why did Jesus say what he said? He didn't say to disregard Mary. That's not true. He's going to go to a spiritual relationship wherein you become a child of God and become his brother, his mother, his relatives. If only you do the will of God. When you do the will of God, 
God will live. Mary did the will of God. She did the will of God. She is one person we talk about in scripture who respected God, obeyed God to the last. No matter what she saw, she pondered them in her heart. Remember the grace, yes. Eche and Chile, Domini Fiat, Miki Sekutu, Vebun Tum. Behold, I am the hand of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you have said. That is the perfect yes, she said. Obedience to God. So she did the will of God. If you want to know those who are his mother, brother, and sister, look at Mary. Apart from being the one who gave birth to Jesus, she did the will of God. Even that qualifies her to be the mother of Jesus. You follow what Jesus says. So we must get things right and not listen to those who criticize unnecessarily without understanding scriptural texts.